Using the app module is a great way to install packages on Debian-based systems. Let's go ahead and create a playbook using this module. Now, a reminder here that if you're on a Fedora-based system, you'll need to use the yum module, or you're going to need to use the package module, which isn't OS-specific. Also keep in mind that the different package managers sometimes call the same package different names. For example, Apache, when you're using apt install, you refer to it as HTTPD. But regardless of that, let's go ahead and have a look at how we can implement the apt module. So I have an initial playbook here and all I have is the name of the playbook uh, become true. So it runs as root and saying that I want to run it against all my hosts. So let's go ahead and create a task that uses the apt module. So I'll say tasks. Now let's give this a name. So I'll say ensure nmap is installed. Now, if you're unaware what nmap is, it's just basically a network mapping utility. It's used a lot in penetration testing. So it's just a cool little utility to have. So now that our task has a name, let's specify the apt module. And then underneath the app module, we need to specify the name of the package. So I'll say nmap. And now we need to specify a state. So I'll say state present. Now there's a lot of different states that you can have, but I want present, which means that it is installed. You could say absent if you want to remove the package, or you could say latest if you want it to always be the latest version. For me, just having it installed on whatever version is fine, so I'm gonna say present. Under that, I'm gonna say update underscore cache, and basically what this does is it's like running sudo apt update. It's just updating the apt repository cache, so it's just something we wanna do before we install any package. So that's all I need to do. Now it does look like I have an indentation problem here, so let's fix that. And now we're good to run this playbook. So let's go ahead and pull up a terminal. And I have the command already written out here. So we're gonna run the Ansible playbook, specify the playbook name. I'm gonna specify my inventory file after that, and then dash capital K to give the root password. So put that in, it's gonna gather the facts, then it's gonna go out and install nmap. All right, so our playbook finished and you can see that one thing changed. So it went out to my node and it installed nmap. And that's how easy it is to install a package using Ansible. Now, like I mentioned before, there's three different modules you can use for installing packages. You can use apt, which is good for Debian based. You can use yum for Fedora, or you can use package, which is not OS specific. So let's go ahead and have a look at our playbook and just convert it to the package module. All I really need to do is change apt to package and then under update cache i'm just going to take this line out other than that it looks like this should run let's go ahead and run it now since nmap is already installed on the system all it's really going to do is it's going to go out to my node it's going to see nmap is already installed and then the playbook is going to pass because nmap is already installed we can see that that's done task okay everything is okay but if nmap was not installed, then the package manager would have just installed it the same way that our apt module did. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. If you found the video helpful, please help me out by smashing that like button. It really helps me with that YouTube algorithm and getting this information out to other DevOps engineers. If you want to learn more about DevOps or Ansible or basically anything in the IT industry, go ahead and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, subscribe. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.